Today is cruise day. The only problem that I'm having right now is that I'm currently on the wrong ship. You see, this here is the largest cruise ship in the world, Royal Caribbean's Wonder of the Seas, located currently in Port Canaveral, Florida. I need to go over to Miami, Florida to jump on a brand new ship as I will be one of the first paying passengers on board. And I'm going to assume it's going to be just as good as this ship, but we'll see. I'll meet you guys in Miami. So after a three hour ride from Port Canaveral to the largest cruise port in the world, Port Miami, I've officially made it to the MSC Seascape. Now just keep in mind as we go through this amazing journey for the next eight days, this video is brought to you by Touring Plans Travel Agency. If you need to book a cruise, a resort, a theme park, they have you covered. Make sure you check them out, link in the description box below. As you can see, bag is tagged. I have left it to the porter. Make sure I'm at the right place. That is the MSC Seascape right up there. So we're gonna go ahead and head in. As you can see, these tents over here is for the yacht club. This is the people that are staying in the suites. And then me, as a commoner, I have to go around this area here and go into the normal section to get into the terminal. How you doing? Good, good. Thank you. I won't show you guys all the details here, but this paperwork we have to print out prior to coming to the terminal. It gives all our information, passport information, questionnaire. If you don't fill it out, well, it's gonna make your process getting in a lot longer. Just made it through security, no line so far. Simple, quick, and easy process. Now, if I remember correctly from the last time I was here, this is where they give you your room key or your bracelet. I'm not exactly sure what they give you for your room this time. Hardest working man in the terminal right here. Hey, man. <laughs> hey, man, you know. Appreciate hey, you, bro, man. Happy fun, man. <laughs> oh, oh, look. <laughs> How you doing? Right <laughs> look at the smile. I got to give a shout out to the coolest terminal staff I've ever seen. How y'all doing? Y'all good? Yeah. 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 Now y'all want to do it? Yes. Yeah, no. Of course. We've been here. We're the best. But look at that. They had the pose ready and everything. Yeah. <laughs> Just got the room key. I'm officially good to go to go ahead and board the MSC Seascape. I'm excited. No wait time. I guess we go straight to the ship. You can see they got pictures over there. We just snake it on around, then we board the ship that way, I guess. I gotta admit, I do find it interesting that this place is not, I don't wanna say packed, but there's not a lot of people here. Either everybody's already on board because it's four o'clock, or the ship might be somewhat empty. I might have the whole thing to myself, but I doubt it. Guys, is this not the coolest hat you've ever seen in your life? <laughs> Man, you're gonna be the life of the party on board, aren't you? Yes. Look, so this nice woman, She's so kind, I have to help her out. I'm gonna help her carry her bags on board. Here, move the hat, I got you, no problem, all right? <laughs> she said she wants to come with me. I don't, I don't, I talk a lot. I might be a little too much for you. I'm just letting you know that now, they know. I can talk a lot, talk How you doing, sir? So you're telling me we were supposed to leave at seven. And we're leaving at five now? So I guess me and you got here just in time. Oh, we almost missed the boat. <laughs> High five. You made it. Oh, don't forget your bag. This is the furthest I go with your bag, I'm sorry. No, you're very, very welcome. Joy, I'll be seeing you around. Okay, we will do. I've actually watched your videos a lot of times. No, really? Yeah. You hate them, don't you? You hate these? You, don't, you hate my videos, don't you? No, I like them, they actually have me along. Oh, thank you. Oh look, they got the MSC mascot guy here. So I'm glad I asked somebody. So apparently when we get here, we have to activate our room key. So we have to go to any of these activation card areas. Apparently there's a couple of them around the ship, but we can't even get into our room until we activate this guy. At least I think that's what the gentleman said. Now let's see how this works here. Touch here. And I guess you have to put your card on file manually here as well. Please type your cruise card on the right. Hmm. Oh, I guess you can put money in here somewhere. Interesting. What if I just want to put my card on file? So I think you just do this guy here. Did it work? Did it work? Ah, okay. Well, that was interesting. I forgot they do that. So you have to activate your card for the access to drinks and Wi-Fi and all that. But also, this is where you put your bank card on file as well. Very interesting. Over here is the check-in for the daycare as well. We got the shine bar. 
So first order of business, I think I'm gonna go ahead and get checked into my room and then I'll do my mustard drill. Those elevators here have no chill. These are the fastest closing doors I've ever seen in my life. By the way, you guys wanna see something weird? Not only is my room on deck 13, there's a deck 13 on this ship, but if you want to go to a certain deck on the elevator, you have to press it prior to getting on board the elevator. Because once you get on board, if you haven't pressed it here, you cannot press which floor you wanna to go to once inside the elevator. Very strange. Let's see. I'm a little down the way. How you guys doing? Hi. Hello. Hi. <laughs> What's up, guys? Hi. How you doing, man? How's it going? Hi, <laughs> Moment of truth. Let's see what we're working with in here. Ta-da! Here's my room. They call this a luxury balcony. Let's see what we got going on out here. Okay. Not bad, not bad. And of course, this beautiful view of Miami is also not bad. So I was told to turn the TV on and tune into channel 5 for the mustard drill. Okay, how do I? 3, 4, 5. Nope, one more. Okay, so this is how we wash the mustard drill. Clasp the waist belt. Then clasp the belt under your chin. So I just finished watching the instructions here on the TV. They said after we have to call 881 on this phone. And I guess after that we'll be checked in. But if I remember correctly, we then have to go to our actual muster station. It says my request has been recorded. I may now hang up. But what do I do next? Well, I guess I'm going to go outside and find one of the room stewards to see what I'm supposed to do next or somebody that's doing the mustard drill. Just keep in mind that yes, of course, since this is a brand new ship, I will have a full thorough walkthrough and review of this luxury balcony stateroom. So what do we do after? We just wait for further instructions? Yeah, after you watch in the TV or the safety video, you go over to straight in your assembly station. Assembly station? How do we know? How do we know where our assembly station is? Is it on the card? This one will be, you go down in the deck seven, champagne mm -hmm. bar. Okay. In the middle. All right. You can use this uh, staircase. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Since we're in the middle of drill, elevator is down, so looks like we're taking the stairs. Looks like I'm going on this way through the casino. Oh, this is not bad. Hmm. Well, I'm sure some of you like to see the casino, so. Here we are. Let me know what you think. Okay, I think we're almost there. Station number seven. F! F. I'm looking all over for you guys. How you doing? So Justin, mm -hmm. thank you. Yes, ma'am. I'm good? Yes. Okay, thank you. Well, it worked out. Look, I'm right back at the beginning where we started in this beautiful atrium area. I gotta admit, this is nice. A lot of silver and shiny stuff, but still pretty cool. Let's go ahead and do some exploring. We're on deck six right now. Let's see what we're working with here. I think I wanna go to the top pool deck in a minute, but I do wanna show you guys this. All of this is touch screen. So you can change the language if you want to. You can scroll up, you can scroll down. Well, it's not working for me right now, but still pretty cool. But I think we're gonna go ahead and go up to the sun deck. Let's go check that out. Maybe I was wrong earlier. This place is looking pretty packed. Wow. So since it is so busy here, I think we're gonna go ahead and avoid the elevator for now. We'll just take the stairs up. <sighs> Give me a second. This is a horrible idea. I just walked from deck six up the stairs. I'm now on deck 15. You got like three more decks to go. Whew. Now something I have already seen here a lot, true to MSC, which is actually really cool. There is a nice blend of culture here. I've seen people from Portugal, Italy, all over Europe. There are a lot of Americans here on board too. And from all walks of life, which is really cool, and I mean this in the most humble way, so many people have already recognized me here from the channel. And they're asking how I'm still standing after going all the way from Wonder of the Seas yesterday, jumping on this ship and everything I've done prior. I am tired. You guys gotta hear this. I'll tell you about it in a minute, what they just said. They're talking about the mustard drill. So MSC is doing it right. They said if they don't get everybody in right now to complete the mustard drill, they're gonna shut down all the bars. Creative geniuses. Let's check out this pool deck. See what we're working with. Okay, okay, at first glance, not bad. Not bad at all. Well, that pool is a little small. I hope that's not the only one. But I don't think it is. <laughs> the captain just told all the bars to close down. <laughs> that is insane. Listen. Yeah, we really need to put a pause on everything else. Please, uh, please make your way now. Bring your cabin. Please come out of your cabin. If you're sitting by the pool, please get up and walk down to your assembly station. 
This will be the activities area. We got a basketball court. We have, what is this? <laughs> it's like a obstacle course of some kind, of like a jungle gym. Let's go check this out. Yeah, it's pretty cool. So they have a slide here. They have a little bridge that you have over here. You have the little water bucket. So the water, when it's turned on, it's gonna be kind of like an aqua park. We'll be back to check it out whenever everything is turned on. The water slides here as well. Definitely jumping on these while I'm here. Hop 19. I wonder what this is. I think this is typically for the Yacht Club members only. Don't quote me on this, but I guess since it's open right now, I see no harm in taking a little peek. Separate bar, looks like plenty of really decent, nice lounging areas. Not bad. Okay, there's more hot tubs. They have them on both sides, as well as another water slide. So this area is pretty cool, but then there's even more down here. A lot of interesting twists and turns on this ship. They call this area here the Bridge of Size. Why? Because you can see all the way down? Oh, look, there's a pool down there. Let's take a little walk on the bridge. Oh, this is... It's cool. Of course, here we have the aft of the ship. Nice view. We're going to head inside. We have the marketplace. This is the buffet area. Let's see what's going on with the food. Is there any food available right now? Now, keep in mind, it is four, about 4.30 now. My boarding time was 3 o'clock, though. So, I mean, maybe it's down on the other side of the buffet area. Now, I will admit, I do like the design of this buffet area. It looks pretty nice. Reminds me, just like the Meraviglia, I was on that ship over a year ago. Cool spot, but it does look like, unfortunately, they're preparing for dinner. So we'll definitely come back up here whenever that time comes around. Oh, look, they just opened the food up. I guess there was a little bit of delay. Wow, okay, we got burgers, fries. Look at this. Okay, the presentation, look at the delivery. MSC, I see you. Not bad, not bad at all. Look at the selection for the salad. Of course, you got the pizza, got the pasta, fish. Pretty big selection. And of course, you have the dessert. Now, I will say, at first glance, the presentation for the food is absolutely amazing. It's like the shutters went up in an explosion. Everybody came running in and they shouted out that the food was ready. Pretty cool. Now, the question is, what does the food taste like? Now, I'll be honest with you guys, there's so much for me to left to do, but I will be trying the food at some point, just not right now. Look at this, they got a whole garden out here. <laughs> this is cool, nice little area. Now, look at this pool. Oh, hey, what's up? Hey, how are you? Good. Good, good, good. good right. Okay, they do have another pool in here, and then as you saw on that bridge, there's one on the lower deck as well. I gotta admit, this is a pretty cool looking area at a glance. I'm probably going to be in here at least a couple times while on board. Here's the Yacht Club area. Now, unfortunately, I'm not in the Yacht Club on this cruise, but maybe I can finagle it. Maybe I'll meet some cool people that'll let me get into this place. There is clearly a lot more people here than I thought there was going to be. We might even be full. God, <laughs> this is him. You know what he's talking about, yo? Right. <laughs> I appreciate you, B. All right, brother. Well, we have officially set sail on board the MSC Seascape. We are leaving Miami for eight very nice days. Uh, it's gonna be so much fun. Well, the sailway party was fun, and we actually did end up leaving early. It's only 6.30 right now, and we were scheduled to leave at 7 p.m. I do wonder why they did that. I guess because they had everybody on board. We were good to go, but anyway, I'm hungry. I do like the layout. Very clean looking buffet area. Okay, I found the people, so this might be the side where they have the food. Here we go, let's eat. So I got a bunch of random stuff. Cheese fries, cream and ham pizza, some pasta, and then some Thai fish. Now, over at the buffet area, the selection looks nice, beautifully displayed, but the question is, is it good? Let's try the pizza. Mmm, not bad. Well, I gotta admit, first meal on board, definitely a lot more flavorful. Well, a little bit more flavorful than at least my last experience or two on board an MSC cruise ship. Keep in mind, I've been on board the MSC Opera over in Europe earlier this year out of Genova, Italy. And then I was also on the MSC Meraviglia about a year ago. What is this? 
So they said my channel is uh, okay and uh, Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> it's awesome. I appreciate it. And you guys staying in the yacht club? Yes, we are staying in the yacht club. Yeah. If you need a room tour, welcome. Oh, don't tempt me with a good time. Yeah, okay. Absolutely. It's so crazy how many amazing people I meet on this ship. <laughs> Yes, these are the fastest closing elevator doors I've ever seen in my life. Yes. Am, am I really not too many. We, we <laughs> yeah, but no, they, these things are fast. They Man, are fast. They, you have to hold if somebody's with a, a cane or a walker or a wheelchair, they have no chance. They, yeah. <laughs> what a treat. We got Alex and Yurina showing me the yacht club. So excited. <laughs> On shared service. Even the hallway is more spacious. I know. <laughs> see. Oh, thank you so much. Wow. Oh, you know, I've never seen one of these rooms before. It's a little more spacious, isn't it? Uh, uh, just a little. Let's see. Look, she's been talking about this since I met her. Yeah, <laughs> a walk-in closet. Look at the collection here. <gasps> Usually he's in hers, so you can take a look. It's a so, little bit smaller. So you put him in the smaller closet and you just took, yeah. over, just took over the walk-in. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, so you got the room for the Keurig? Of course. It's, it's not, not a Keurig. Keurig. What Come is that? On, it's an espresso. It's an espresso. Look, it I don't, I don't really I don't drink. drink. Yeah, it's not. I, ah. if, if it's there, I don't go out of my way, you know? Oh, so. this is really good. This, this is, is good. really good. It's, so good. That, that's, you're lying. That's not why you got it. It's part of the reason. Part of the reason. It's part of the reason. It's a big one. This is the second one, right? I didn't even know that they have it, but it's a huge deal. It's actually, yeah, it's a huge deal. Having like two butlers. Two butlers? Yeah, they have two butlers. I know. Okay, you're <laughs> wow, how's it going? <laughs> so just so all of you know, I will have an actual sweet tour of this room available on my main channel, The Ship Life. Make sure you go check that out. So we're going to cut through the casino here for a second to get to the other side here on deck seven. I can't record here, so I'll see you guys in a minute on the other side. So we made it to the other side and from what I can see, casino is busy. Deals must be good. Here we are, Drill Theater. How's it going, man? Hello. You just scan the test. Oh, we have to do a reservation. I had no idea we needed a reservation. They said we can use either of these screens to book the reservation. Touch here. Theater shows. Dreamscape. We selected the time, now all we have to do is confirm. Okay, let's try it again. All right. Can we still not have drinks in the theater? Yes. Oh, yes. we can have drinks? Yes. Okay, good. That's a good change. I've been on the MSC Meraviglia and the Opera. Unfortunately, no theaters, they don't allow drinks. But I guess in this one, they decided to make the change. Good idea. And here we are. And there is no assigned seating. We just have to book to make sure the show doesn't get sold out. The design of this theater is not bad. Not bad at all. Very futuristic looking. <laughs> And then I see it, and my, my assistant crew's right here also playing uh, our translator for the night. We appreciate, no matter, no matter where you're from, you know, whether you traveled five minutes or five hours to get here, whether you traveled 10 miles or 20,000 kilometers, whether this is your first cruise or your last cruise, we want to please welcome our international entertainers to the stage in their fabulous Las Vegas style presentation of Dreamscape. It's Showtime!
Okay, so I will say this, a slight step up from the other MSC shows that I've seen. However, as most of you know, I'm critical about entertainment because I've done Cirque shows, I've done theme park shows, I've done cruise ship shows, I've done tours all over the world. When it comes to MSC shows, I'll tell you how it is with their model, right? They have some singers, they have some dancers. However, they are going to be doing a different show every day, which unfortunately to me, I think diminishes the quality overall of the show because you're basically gonna see like the same movements per se, same dances just to a different song and the same setup overall with a couple more props and set pieces throughout the show. So to me, it's not my favorite thing to see. I'm a little disappointed when it comes to that. However, this ship, I, I'm blown away. I have to admit it. The, the way they've designed the ship, really, really beautiful. Some parts are confusing here and there at first glance. Just keep in mind, this is the first day. Food so far in the buffet has definitely turned around. I always said the food here was kind of bland. That food today was just popping, had some flavor. So there's just one little mark here, I would say. Um, but we got seven days, guys, so I'll let all of you know. But speaking of which, on that note, I am going to get out of here. I have more videos coming up. We are in the private island for MSC tomorrow. Perfect day. <laughs> Perfect day. You see, I'm so caught up with Royal Caribbean. It is Ocean K over in the Bahamas, and I'll be going to the private yacht club and all this other stuff, so make sure you guys stay tuned. On your way out, of course, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and just know that I love and appreciate every single one of you. I'll see you later. Take it easy.